Well, in essence, the open access policy allows the university to make scholarly articles by FSU faculty publicly available to the world. You see, the policy is intended to address the problems caused by restrictive copyright practices, whereby our faculty do all the work, sign away their rights to their articles, and then have publishers lock the articles behind paywalls. When that happens, FSU has to pay for the right to access the articles, and anyone who can't pay can't read them, including the general public and researchers at less affluent institutions. It's bonkers. The new policy simplifies this situation for authors, making it clear that they and their home institutions retain rights in the articles they create and streamlines the process of making peer-reviewed versions of those articles available in digital. FSU's Open Access Research Repository. Policies like this have been shown to increase the impact of research by making it more widely available. Not only that, if we all stand together on this, we can change the academic publishing model, retraining greater control over our own scholarship, reducing the strain on library budgets, and freeing up money to reinvest in important research and learning endeavors. And it's easy. All you have to do is participate. Take a few minutes, click a few buttons, and you're done. For this small investment, you get broader exposure, reports on downloads, and the satisfaction of sharing your scholarship with the world. These are really exciting times. The electronic revolution is here, and we need to optimize scholarly communications so the whole world benefits from this incredible global educational opportunity. It's all about collaborating together to build a better future for everyone. To paraphrase the great John Lennon, one of my heroes, you may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday soon you will join us and the academic and publishing world will be as one.